Bangladesh Army delegation visited China to explore technology transfers that would enable Bangladesh to domestically manufacture UAVs. Japan has integrated a railgun prototype on board its test vessel JS Sasuka. After shooting down a Chinese drone operated by Pakistan Army along the Western Front, the Indian Army is procuring nine more D-4 laser-based anti-drone systems under emergency procurement powers. India is on the verge of finalizing a landmark $700 million deal with Vietnam for the sale of Brahmo's supersonic cruise missiles. Hyderabad-based Vipa Defense India Private Limited is all set to produce the indigenous Ugram 7.62x51mm high-performance rifle. India and Italy are exploring collaboration in the fields of naval systems missile technology electronic warfare systems and unmanned platforms. Sweden's SAB has inaugurated a new IT engineering and competence center in Hyderabad. Vehicle factory Jabalpur has delivered the first overhauled T-72 tank to the Indian Army, and this delivery marks the beginning of a phased overhaul plan of 1,000 T-72 tanks. Indian Navy will deploy underwater sensors for detecting Chinese submarines in the 90 East Ridge, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Bay of Bengal. General Atomics has unveiled an airborne directed energy capability integrated into its MQ-9B armed drone. The newly revealed laser pod contains a 25 kW distributed gain laser, that is scalable up to 300 kW. The system is air-cooled by its ram air intake, and is powered by an ultra-high power density battery module. India will start receiving MQ-9B armed drones from 2029 onwards, and will have the option to integrate the laser pod. India is on the verge of approving a request from Armenia for the sale of the Prale surface-to-surface tactical ballistic missiles. The deal has been under negotiation for some time, and latest reports indicate that both sides have reached a mutually beneficial understanding, and the deal will be finalized in the coming weeks. Due to India's commitments as a member of the missile technology control regime, the version of the Prale missile to be supplied to Armenia will have a capped range of 290 km. Hindustan Aeronautics is set to deepen private sector involvement in its latest $7.8 billion tender for 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. By allowing private firms to deliver pre-assembled sections, HAL aims to reduce assembly time significantly. HAL's production capacity is scaling up with two production lines in Bengaluru, and a third production line in Nashik, enabling HAL to manufacture 24 Tejas Mark 1A fighters per year. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders is independently designing a conventional diesel-electric submarine, that will rival a design by the DRDO for the Project 76 Next Generation Submarines, and this dual-track approach will offer two distinct indigenous options to the Indian Navy. While DRDO recently sought CCS approval and funding for its design phase, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders will finance its design effort using internal resources, showcasing confidence in its technical and financial capacity. Today's top 3 comments.